Hello, how are you? I am Muhammad Azam Samir and I belong to Archaeology and Heritage Studies. I usually come with the videos related to archaeology, anthropology, sociology, history and some architecture uh, belong to ancient era. But today I have come with the new approach and uh, if you all people uh, are you know, wish to go to Europe for your higher study, this video would definitely be helpful for all of you. And you can use this video as your, you know, basic uh, steps, how you can get the scholarship in foreign countries. There are many reasons for the application uh, for the foreign universities. Uh, firstly, some people, some students want to go for a culture, want to go for a study, and want to go for a, a degree. Uh, in this sense of understanding, I would suggest you, on the behalf of my uh, previous knowledge when I go ab abroad for the study, uh, try to get the knowledge as much as you can. Uh, I know money is important you need stipend you need you know uh, some extra jobs over there uh, but uh, above all your knowledge is very important and your uh, taken degree on the basis of your practice practices the basis of your lab work would definitely uh, would be helpful for you in your future uh, career life there are many things which are important to attain the scholarship First of all, you should uh, select your university. In this regard, you have to uh, study different, uh, you know, countries and uh, enlisted all the countries based on their higher institutions, good institutions. Try to get the institution, institutions which are uh, enlisted in the world, uh, big universities uh, regarding their rankings. Secondly, uh, try to uh, build very good uh, and the research-based proposal, 2500 words to 4000 words uh, are suitable for any research proposal for your master's and PhD and some universities they do not require uh, the proposal for your master's degree or MPhil degree but some universities they require uh, for your PhD proposal, you, you should be very clear and lucid in your writings. What do you want to do? What should be the process? What should be the uh, frame, time framework? And what should be the, uh, you know, uh, procedure of uh, your research? Thirdly, you have to find your supervisor. Uh, supervisors from different universities suppose if you want to apply in China, you should send uh, an email to them, try to write very clear because most of the professors, they are not well conversant with the English language. So try to use very simple and serene words so that they can understand what do you want to do, what do you want to uh, require from the professors. Try to uh, write all the words in a requesting manner. Uh, so that they would be very happy to become your supervisor. Uh, fourthly, uh, do not try to be extra smart students and do not try to be a, a very clever while you are talking with your professor or supervisor. Uh, fifthly, uh, with, uh, when you are first time talking to your professor or universities, ISO or ISA, uh, do not send all of your credentials or documents. Try to be, uh, you know, concise with your curriculum vita if your supervisor demand. Sixthly, uh, you should be well conversant whatever you have done before. Uh, in this regard, try to uh, write cover letter for Europe and personal statement or personal information uh, or statement of purpose. Uh, for Asian universities or for the American universities. Uh, you can write 
uh, in very concise and in a brief, uh, you know, paragraphs where you can put all the information you you have done before, like your participation participation into academic activities like uh, workshop, research conferences, international activities such as uh, you know uh, field work or any project you have done. Uh, you, you you can discuss all the things which you have done before then you can also write down uh, your academia uh, your academic credentials academic numbers marks uh, in a good manners then your experience and all that your cv should be strong and uh, up to the mark and your cv should be the uh, all the formats which are required for any university suppose if you are uh, going to send your CV into the universities of Europe then just write uh, then follow the format of European CV uh, then there are some other formats which are uh, actually followed by uh, present day scholars and seventh uh, if you are uh, given invitation by your supervisor or you know uh, the letters which is required for their mission then try to submit all the documents uh, into a good manners or try to follow all the rules and regulation so that your document should not be rejected uh, in eighth uh, try to be uh, very very deliberate regarding your subject you should be well conversant with your uh, subjects and uh, you, you must have known all the rules and regulations of the laboratory or lab work which you are going to perform in a foreign university. Ninth, uh, I suggest you if your university do not uh, let you do job, uh, do not give you permission, so I suggest you do not do your jobs over there because uh, if you are captured, if you are uh, red-handed, red-handed captured over there, then it is not good for your career. So try to be uh, very much focused on your degree, on your knowledge. Uh, there are also some very important points. Suppose uh, try to get references letters as well from your uh, previous studies or recommendations letter. Uh, then uh, you, you uh, then try to send all the documents into a one PDF file because uh, uh, many professors they are very busy and they do not have much time to study all of your documents so if you send only one file they can thoroughly observe it uh, then if you awarded any scholarship uh, go to that country and try to uh, follow rules and regulation regulations of that country or that university do not trespass or do not uh, try to break uh, you know prevailed rules and regulations over there uh, it would uh, never be a good for you uh, if you break all the rules and regulations then respect all the citizens of that country respect all your uh, class fellows and above all respect the management and your supervisors which are uh, very important names in your uh, of your universities then try to give your much of time into the labs because uh, unfortunately in our countries the lab scenarios is very weak uh, if you learn over there you can also utilize into your country in your into your home country and then I suggest you, if you complete your degree, your master's degree, PhD degree or postdoc, try to utilize your knowledge in your country because your country uh, need scholars like you. Because if you get the knowledge from other country and utilize your knowledge to that country or any other country except your home country, then it would not be good for your family, your, uh, for your, uh, you know, uh, cities and your country as well because 
here we need uh, good techniques scientific techniques scientific techniques and uh, techniques of technology which is uh, need of the hours so if you study abroad and if you come uh, to your country and try to utilize all your attained knowledge uh, maybe this would be a good point for our country and for the progress uh, of our uh, you know country in all over the world then i hope you would uh, try to follow all the the systems systematic way of all the scholarship for example if you try to uh, submit all your documents and try to apply in china there are many scholarships over there such as csc scholarship chinese government scholarships Anso scholarship and some provincial scholarship if you try to apply into europe mercury erasmus mundus are important scholarship if you try to apply uh, to america fulbright scholarship is very important then canadian government scholarship australian government scholarship hong kong scholarship taiwan scholarship south asian uh, south, uh, uh, south asian studies scholarship and then south korea scholarship uh, there are also some scholarships you know treated in japan japan government scholarship uh, mxt scholarship so uh, all these scholarships are for the uh, benefic beneficial uh, for the students and uh, their countries try to be uh, very very sane over there and try to be uh, very much crazy for the knowledge in your foreign countries uh, please try to negate uh, the activities which are not good for the students try to negate uh, you know breaking the rules of that countries and try to negate uh, all the you know activities uh, based on your jobs if you do not get permission from your university finally i hope you all people would try to follow the rules and regulations and you would be very much honest with your study honest with your country honest with your family uh, it is written that if you are honest with your family honest with your country actually you are honest with all the world so uh, in the end i would uh, definitely wish all our young generation should go to the forums and try to get uh, the knowledge which is uh, rare in our university and on our return uh, we would be in position to serve for our country our family and our people thank you so much